Hello there, welcome back. This is Alan Walls Photography and today we're going to be talking about the GoPro Hero 7 Black. If you're a GoPro fanboy, you might want to go watch some cat videos. This one won't be for you. Over the last several weeks, I've been agonizing over the decision about which action camera I was gonna purchase. And I've been back and forth and I've looked at just about every one of them. I wanted something that was compact, lightweight, versatile, and something that, that I could use as a highly mobile vlogging platform. My plan was to get a small action camera uh, and attach the, the Rode Wireless Go, the new wireless lavalier mic that Rode has come out with, attach that to the camera and use it as an all-in-one uh, vlogging platform, something I could put in my pocket and uh, carry with me everywhere I go. So that was my plan. My decision to go with the uh, Hero 7 was based mostly on YouTube reviews and commentaries about it. And uh, I bought the thing and I've had it for 24 hours and I'm going to take it back today <laughs> to where I got it from. It's a disaster. It's the worst, it's the worst gear purchase I've made in a long time. So when I realized that, that this camera was not what I was expecting, I went back and I looked at a lot of the videos that I had looked at to make this decision. There's something that the human brain uses to keep us comfortable in the world, and that's called a confirmation bias. It's one of many ways that our brain filters what we're taking into our heads to make everything more consistent with the way we think the world is. And uh, boy, my confirmation bias must have been running in overdrive as I watched these videos, because now as I go back and look at them after purchasing the device and having a terrible experience with it, uh, I see that if I'd actually paid attention to everything in the videos, I would never have chosen this camera in the first place. Let me explain. I got the camera uh, and I told you why I needed it as a, as a vlogging platform. The first thing that, that disappointed me about it, not disappointed me, it just really irked me, was when I got home, uh, they didn't have the, the microphone adapter in the shop where I bought the GoPro, so I knew I'd have to order it either from Amazon or from GoPro. Well, apparently, since sometime in February or March of this year, there have not been any microphone adapters available anywhere in the world, as far as I can tell. Certainly, as of yesterday, uh, Amazon had one slimy scalper selling them for $199. $199 for a USB to TRS jack adapter for $200. It's bad enough that GoPro is charging $50, but neither Amazon nor GoPro nor Adorama, B&H, any of the places you'd go to look for something like this, they're all out of stock, on back order. Uh, and uh, when I finally dug into all the GoPro message boards, I realized that people have been whining and complaining about this for, for six months. And I didn't know about that. So that was the first thing. But that pales by comparison to the, the rest of my day yesterday. I was gonna go uh, to a nature sanctuary near here to photograph some snakes. And uh, I went down there with, with all of this new gear because I also invested a ton of money in, in all the other um, gadgets that you need to, to make this thing really useful. So I was all kitted out and ready to go down and I had already uh, powered up the camera and, and uh, done the necessary settings, uploaded the latest software, uh, charged all the batteries in the GoPro battery charger using the GoPro wall wart thing. 
So everything was the way it was supposed to be. And uh, I, started, I started shooting video in 4K uh, at 60. And uh, about three minutes into my first, my first shot, the camera turned off, beat three times and turned off. And when I reached up to, to my hat to take it down to see what, uh, see what was going on, it was seriously too hot to touch. I mean, it felt very uncomfortable to touch the front of the camera, the lens part, and the whole thing was hot. Uh, it turned out it had uh, turned itself off because of overheating uh, and it would not turn back on again. Even when it had cooled down, it would not turn back on again. So uh, I took out the battery, I put in a fresh battery, I went to a shop and bought two more SD cards, different brands, uh, but all on, the, all on the approved list that GoPro puts out. And no matter what combination I did, it overheated and shut down within a few minutes, every time. In fact, it would overheat and shut down even if I wasn't shooting with it. If I just had the power on, it was overheating and shutting down. I spent $700 on this by the time I was finished buying and trying new batteries and, and new cards. Uh, and it's, it's just an unreliable, buggy piece of garbage. Uh, so I'm I'm taking the thing back and getting my money back, and I'm just going to hold off on on what I do. But it got me it, the whole episode got me thinking about what what process of my brain gone through to decide that of all of the options out there that this was the one I needed that this was the the camera that was worth my investment. And that's what prompted me to go back and look at all of these other videos. But there's one in particular that stands out, and, and this is really the purpose of this video. And now I am not knocking TJ. Uh, I, I think he's a great guy. His videos are, are awesome. Uh, he can do stuff on a snowboard that, yeah. I was going to say something smart about my snowboarding, but I can't even stand up on a snowboard. So anyway, the guy's a, a great guy. He's He's got a, a fantastic uh, YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. It's called Board Archive. Uh, and I'll put a link to, to his stuff down below. And like I say, I, this, isn't, this isn't knocking TJ. This is... More a demonstration of how my own blindness to, to negative information tricked me into buying this, this camera. And that's why I think it'll be useful for you. Anyway, the name of the video that, uh, that he put out um, a couple of months ago uh, was GoPro Hero 7, Five Biggest Problems. And in it, he actually listed like nine issues. And, uh, you know, I, I'd urge you to go look at it because all in all, it's a positive review based on the final remarks. But he had a lot of bad stuff to say about this camera. And I had seen this video before I bought it. He pointed out that the camera uh, has glitches when the stabilization is on. In other words, in panning shots, it'll stop and then jump to catch up and stop and jump to catch up. Stuff that makes the footage worthless. Uh, sometimes the, the video would freeze all on its own, but it would continue to record audio, uh, which is, of course, useless if, if you're trying to use it for video. Uh, the date and time would, would reset uh, spontaneously for no apparent reason, change to different date and time which kind of messes with your archiving. And also the, the stabilization would spontaneously turn off from time to time. What else? Now, he, he complained about the microphone adapter, um, that it was too big and too expensive and a, a, a just piece of nonsense charging $50 for, for something after paying $400 for the camera. And I get that, but... TJ doesn't need to have to worry about that anymore because you can't get the microphone adapter anyway. 
So he pointed out that the screen freezes uh, requiring a, uh, a, a reset, which means pulling out the battery, pulling out the micro SD, and then cycling through a reset and starting it back up again which sounds kind of like my problem, only he didn't mention the thing getting hot enough to bake potatoes with. But then again, he was out there in, in the Canadian wilderness doing his snowboarding, so maybe he didn't notice that it was getting hot with all that snow, who knows. Yeah, he also said that uh, random sounds would trigger the camera to shoot bursts of photographs. Um, when you were trying to film videos, so that's not very helpful. And lastly, uh, yeah, the batteries. The batteries die really fast. Well, yeah, my batteries, brand new branded GoPro batteries, I went through two of those overheat shutdown cycles with a fresh battery, and at the end of the second cycle, so six minutes into not being able to use the camera, my battery remaining charge was 42%. So after, after going through all of that, TJ said he, he still recommended the camera. They thought it was a great camera and definitely worth picking up. And then uh, he directed viewers to an affiliate link to buy the camera. Now, I understand that that is a reality if you're trying to put out great content like, like TJ does, you got to pay the bills. I mean, I totally understand that. And I think the responsibility then falls more to us as the consumers uh, of this information to decide what we're really hearing. And that, I think, is where I let myself down. Because I heard all this stuff before, but I wanted a GoPro Hero 7 Black. So the only thing I really internalized from watching this video a month ago was I think this is a great camera you should definitely get one so I heard that and conven conveniently forgot everything else that he had said uh, in his video so you know what's the what's the solution to this well the solution for the GoPro Hero 7 Black is don't buy one <laughs> it's terrible it is buggy, it is glitchy, it is unreliable, it has terrible battery life, it overheats, and you cannot record using an external microphone because they no longer have the adapters for sale. So if you're looking for a, a, a vlogging camera, forget it, it's no good. The, the built-in audio on this thing is terrible. Even though it's been improved, it still it still sounds like uh, you're talking into a tin can. But if you can't attach a uh, an external microphone to it and you're planning on using it for vlogging, it's a waste of your money. Don't bother with it. If you're planning on using it as an action camera and, and trying to take pictures of people doing death-defying stunts, and half the time it's not turning on or it's turning off halfway through or it's only recording the audio. That's not a, a smart buy. You need something that, that's reliable. You need to catch that shot every time. You may only get one crack at it, if you see what I mean. So the solution for the GoPro Hero 7 is find something else. Find something more reliable. Look at the DJI Osmo or something. But the, I think the bigger picture is when we're gathering our information about what it is we want to buy, we really, really need to listen to what we're being told. And we need to balance that with the motives of the person who's selling it to us. Uh, I have a bunch of people that I follow on YouTube who put out fantastic content and great videos, but they are heavily sponsored by some vendors. So when they're talking about the stuff that they're being paid to talk about, I listen to it with a grain of salt because I understand that whatever they say, they're, they're not going to talk themselves out of a sponsorship. Uh, so if you understand the motives of the person who's putting out the video, 
then maybe you can have a slightly more nuanced sense of what it is they're saying. These days, it's very, very hard to find genuinely unbiased opinions. I tried to buy a vacuum cleaner a couple of years ago, and I could not find a single review of that darn vacuum cleaner that, that hadn't been written by somebody who had been given a vacuum cleaner, had been paid to do the review, uh, or had been given the opportunity to be an affiliate through the, through the outlet so that they would get paid when units were sold. Any time a talking head is talking about a product and they are receiving some kind of financial benefit from doing that, you have to take that into consideration and balance what they're saying. If I had not been so hell-bent on getting this camera and deciding this was the one I wanted, I would have listened to the first 80% of TJ's video and I would have completely ignored the bit about it's a great camera, you should get one. Because that's not what he said in the video. He said, this is an unreliable, glitchy piece of garbage. So anyway, I hope this is useful. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't. I suspect you already knew all this stuff anyway, but uh, it's been it's been an eye opener for me and I guess I'll, I'll I'll be good about this until the next time I decide I definitely have to have something and then I'll just uh, get all confirmation biasy again. Anyway, got some videos coming out in the next few days about Lightroom for people who are just getting started. Until then, have a good week. Talk to you soon. Cheers.